uh, you don't want to talk about this because you don't think it's um, confirmed news, and it probably isn't confirmed. But yeah, there is rumors. Yeah, talk about it. But I'm going to talk about it for that uh, potentially Charleston, Kevon Charleston is hurt at relay camp. Now there's no news on the severity of it. It could just be a minor thing. Um, Kevon Charleston has had probably one of the most incredible seasons in men's sprinting. I would argue that his coming onto the scene this year, winning USA's, is the equivalent of what Fred Curley did, where he was like, hey, guys, I'm going to run the 100. And everyone's like, really, dude? You should stick to the four. And he's like, no, nah, I'm good. And then became what he became. Just like you normally don't see unsponsored, you know, upper 20 age 100 meter men achieve you winning USA's the same way you normally don't see a 400 meter runner go on and medal at worlds in the hundreds anyway but Kevon Charleston uh apparently might have been injured at relay camp and you know if that happens here's my question I know it's too late now because team USA has already announced their relay pool but if you have to take him off the relay who would you put on because right now you have Lyles Coleman and Curly would be your locks, correct? Mm -hmm. So who would be your fourth guy? I mean, Bracey just, if you want to add someone new, Bracey ran really well this weekend. Yeah, but that's the thing. Bracey has been running well, but Bracey is not on the relay pool. The relay pool. Um, yeah, you asked if I could Brandon add somebody. Brandon Carnes, JT Smith, Kendall Williams. You asked so. if I could add somebody. That's who I would add. If I could just pick anybody not based on any placing at USA's. My goal is just to come up with the best team in two weeks' time. I would put Bracey on there if there was a spot. I would too, but they're not doing that. So if you had to choose between Brandon Barnes, <laughs> JT Smith, and Kendall Williams, or one of the 200-meter oh, wow. guys, who would you put? Maybe Courtney Lindsay? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's – for the U.S.'s sake, I really hope Charleston's okay. Yeah, I too. hope. I hope. I, I. I hope there's that that four because I think you made the good point right after USA's about how it lined up perfectly. There wasn't going to be any controversy because Lyles it's made it in the four. one and yeah. the two. Yeah, Curly had the bye. You could make an argument, Knighton or Bednarik or something on a curve could be you know an intriguing possibility, but it, it those four made made perfect sense. So hopefully for the U.S. that four stays intact. You know who I want them to put on it? Grant Holloway. Exactly. Grant Holloway. Yeah. You, maybe, Grant Holloway maybe could that's be a... 70 years old. Grant Holloway could be well into his master's career. And you'd be like, yeah, you split 43 one time. I know, dude. You remember that Florida? Florida he won, Florida? won the indoor. He did the straightaway sweep. He won the, the 60 hurdles and the 60. You guys know about Grant Holloway? 